Hello again. Let's write some words that begin with the letter K. K words. K Can you think of some K words? I just said a K word. Can, but can begins with the letter C. It's a cave K as opposed to a kingly K. We'll figure that one out. Now, if you've done your drawing, turn to the back side of your page and we'll write some words. Now, here is my paper. Before we begin the paper, let's find our feet in those knitted slippers. Did you know the word knit and knitted has a k, a secret k at the beginning of the word. So it looks like knitted, but we just say knitted and we let the k be a secret. Whoa, there's a ghost. Let's find our feet in those knitted slippers. And on your head is that crown. Crown is a k word, but it's a cave k, not a kingly k, even though kings wear crowns. On your head, find that crown of kiwi blossoms. Kiwi is a kingly k letter. And on your finger is a ring of kyanite. Kyanite is a kingly k kyanite. All right, let's work on our paper. So here I have my main lesson page, and I'm going to put a beautiful blue border around my Left to right, sky to earth. Left to right, left sky to earth, and left to right. There we are, beautiful blue border. I'm going to adjust my chair. Oh, all right, there, now we're ready. Now you'll need a pencil. You can use a blue pencil or any dark colored pencil that you have. I happen to have green, so I'm going to use my green pencil. Straight lines or curved lines? Do you remember? I have one straight line. K. Two straight lines. Three straight lines. The big letter K. What about the little letter? Straight lines, curved lines, or both? Let's find out. The little letter is tall, but its arms and legs are shorter. All straight lines. Now, a word that begins with the kingly k. Well, we call it the kingly k for a reason. Because king begins with the letter K. Straight line, sky to earth. A shorter arm.
one leg. Eh. Do you remember? There's this beautiful sound that when some letters work together, it's almost like they sing in this ing sound. K eh. That's right. N. G. And this I N G work together to make this ing sound. They sing. So we have king. That's one of my favorite words. We talk a lot about being in first grade. Our hearts, our thoughts, our words, our deeds are all this word. Kind. That's right. We are kind. K. We have an I, but this time the I says its name. So in king, I, king, kind, k I, n. Oh, look, it's almost the same. But we have one letter that's different. Kind. King. But we don't really say the g. We just say king and let the g sing. Kind. King. Kind. There's another word without that d. Kin. Kin is like your family. Let's write that one. Yeah. Very nice. Kin. Now, I know some of you have pets. And I have a feeling some of you wish you had this animal as a pet. In fact, I'm thinking of two animals, but I think one of these animals would be cuddly. Cuddly is a cave, c, the C. But this animal, even though it's cuddly, begins with a kingly c, koala. Let's write the word koala. K, that's right. Oh my, that could have been straighter. See if you can make your k straighter than mine. K. Oh, it's saying its name. Ko. Ah, that warm red ah. Yeah. Ooh. That's tomorrow's letter. Koala. Kangaroo was the other animal I was thinking of. K. A. Ang uh, uh, Do you remember what makes an er uh, sound? Uh, rabbit. Uh, kangaroo. That's an R. Yeah. Ooh. Now ooh could be a few different letters. But one way we write ooh is with two O's. Kangaroo. And lastly, 
on my list, but you can make your list longer if you can think of more k words. We have, of course, a key to the kingdom. Let us write key, just like before, k, k. E. If it were just like that, that eh would not be saying its name. It would be saying eh, its sound. But because we have this last letter Y, key, the Y helps the E say its name. Key. We have lots of helpers in our language. And sometimes they're quiet. What other k words can you think of? Thanks for writing with me. I'll see you next time.